Portable jump starters like the NOCO GB70 provide the convenience of on-demand power when your battery inconveniently dies. While jumper cables are good, they also require a second vehicle whereas the GB70 allows you to bring a dead battery back to life on the spot. Here are the high points of the GB70 and for more helpful car ownership videos like this, hit that subscribe button. Officially called the NOCO Boost HD GB70, the 2000 amp portable jump pack comes with attached clamps, a 40 inch micro USB cable for charging, an XGC extension cord with a 12 volt male and female adapter, an owner's manual and a microfiber storage bag. The GB70 will jump various lead acid batteries, including wet cell, maintenance free enhanced flooded and absorbed glass mat or AGM batteries. As a more muscular unit in NOCO's product line, the GB70 will handle gasoline engines up to 8 liters in displacement and diesel powertrains up to 6 liters, including late model HD trucks from the big three. At the end of the GB70's hardwired cables are what NOCO calls precision clamps. The overall design has two advantages and one possible disadvantage based on our experience. An immediate benefit is the spark-proof, crocodile-style design of the clamps, making it so the GB70 can safely and effectively bite down on batteries and terminals of different sizes. The second advantage is how the attached cables mitigate power loss during a jump, ensuring the GB70 will have enough capacity for larger engines. For example, the smaller NOCO GB40 has detachable jumper cables instead of affixed cables. The GB40 is a 1000 amp unit versus the 2000 amp rating of the GB70. While the NOCO GB70 will handle a 6 liter diesel, the GB40 caps out at a 3 liter diesel. The attached jumper cables of the GB70 make a lot of difference in this regard. So if you drive a bigger truck, the GB70 is the way to go. One potential drawback is how the cables and precision clamps trail back and away from the flashlight. On the left side is the charging bank, while the 400 lumen flashlight is on the right side. The clamps of the GB70 are aligned with the charging bank, not the flashlight. We wish this were reversed, especially for nighttime usage. Ideally, the flashlight and the cables should point in the same direction so it's easier to see the battery. Be that as it may, the flashlight offers seven different modes, including an SOS beacon and emergency strobe. Since the charging bank consists of both USB and 12-volt ports, you can charge your phone or tablet with the GB70, yet also power other handy devices like a portable tire inflator. The rubber housing covers for the 12-volt and USB outlets have an IP65 rating to protect against dust and water. NOCO jump starters are built on a proprietary software platform known as the Battery Management System, or BMS for short. With the BMS, the GB70 only outputs when it recognizes its cables are correctly attached to a battery. For example, if you accidentally connect to the wrong terminal, reverse polarity, the GB70 will not activate. If the polarity is correct but one of the clamps is loose, the BMS also prevents the GB70 from delivering power. With a proper connection, the white 12-volt LED light will illuminate on top of the unit. The GB70 will make an audible click indicating that it's safe to jump the battery. Putting aside our desire to change the location of the flashlight, we are still confident in recommending the NOCO GB70 if you need a more robust portable jump starter. If you manage a fleet of vehicles or need something heavy duty for the farm, the GB70 is a good pick. Two links are below if you would like to learn more. The first will take you to our written review of the GB70, while the second will take you to Amazon, where you can purchase the unit. For more helpful product reviews like this, hit that subscribe button. In Detroit, on behalf of Automoblog with our NOCO GB70, I'm Carl Anthony.